So last uh, we have done four instructions so far in the data transfer group. Now the fifth instruction. The fifth instruction is MVI M comma data. So how this instruction is uh, different from the previous one? That was MVI R comma data. That uh, data that was immediately provided with the instruction was uh, moved to the memory loop. Was moved to the register. But in this case, this data, the data that is data that is available immediately is moved to the memory location whose address is in the register pair that is m fine so if you see the macro rtl m h comma l uh, will be carrying the data so it's a two byte instruction uh, one byte will be consumed by the opcode one byte will be consumed by the data that's actually available here it consists of three machine cycles these three machine cycles are the opcode patch machine cycle, the memory read machine cycle, and you are also writing this data onto the memory location. So there will be also the memory write machine cycle in this case. Uh, so if we have three machine cycles, that means one is this is four T states, three T states, three T states. That means a total of ten T states. And if we have 10 T states, then uh, the total execution time uh, will be 3.24 microseconds. And this instruction has no variation, it exists only as itself. Fine. Uh, example is we can move this data 55 page. Where is this data going? This is going to the uh, memory location whose address is in HL register pair or whose address is in M fine HL register pair is referred to by uh, M in uh, the 85 microprocessor in the instruction format uh, no flags again no flags are affected Then you have the addressing mode, the addressing mode for the source and for the destination. Uh, the source addressing mode, uh, the data is immediately available, so it is immediate addressing mode. And the destination addressing mode, it is uh, the memory is the destination whose address is given in the register. Why? So it is register indirect addressing mode and then you have the micro RTL now you'll be actually doing the micro RTL from here on most of the cases yourself we have first the opcode patch machine cycle it will be as uh, previously we have done and we have the memory read machine cycle uh, so our memory read machine cycle here will be different from that of the previous instruction we have uh, three T states on this side T1 T2 T3, fine. T1, T2, and T3. Uh, in the T3 state, what we will be seeing is the read instruction will become low again. Uh, this is as opposed to the previous instruction. Now, in the previous instruction, whatever was on the data bus that was going directly to the register pair. But in this case, the whatever is available on the data bus will not go to the register not go to the register directly it will go to another register that is known as Z. Z basically will be holding uh, w and z that i actually mentioned in the while we were discussing the registers w and z will basically hold uh, the temporary uh, these will be basically used to store temporary data while the execution of instruction take place in this case 
we are reading the data we are not transferring it to the register any register we need to transfer it to a memory location to push this register so this data will be read and kept on a temporary register that will be z in this case and once you'll be right doing the memory write machine cycle for this uh, particular case you'll be writing the complete io by m bar s1 s0 you'll be having three t states again so we have also done memory write machine cycle previously in case of m m o v m comma r there uh, in the t2 state what we were doing is uh, the data that was actually being read from reg register that was moved on to the uh, register that was moved to the data bus but in this case this data is now available on uh, which register that is actually z in this case so it's from z the data will be moved to the ad7 to ad0 if i complete if i write this uh, completely what will be happening in the memory write machine cycle first of all a15 to a8 Uh, the address of the memory location needs to be fetched in this case first of all so address is being fetched from the hl register pair the least significant the most significant bit and the least significant bit and uh, once this is done the address latch enable will be triggered so that this address is now stored by the microprocessor the write instruction will be uh enabled by making a active low and this operation will then take place why so previously what has happened in this case uh, the data bus has already transferred the data to register to a temporary register that is z to an inaccessible register that is z now this data is being transferred to the data bus and while the write instruction has been enabled in the t3 state this instruction the write instruction will again be disabled and finally whatever was on the address bus uh, address bus will now actually hold the location of the memory the contents from the data bus will now be transferred to the address the, to the memory location whose address is now already been latched by the microprocessor from the address bus fine and ad7 to ad0 basically will be holding z z is basically holding the original data that was actually uh, given with the instruction so these will be your three t state three machine cycles log code fetch machine cycle will be as usual there will be no difference in that the memory read machine cycle what will be memory read machine cycle in the memory read machine cycle first of all the program counter will be incremented as we did in case of mvr comma data the program counter will actually be first of all loading the address bus and then it will be incremented finally so that we basically be able to uh, know where the data is uh, once this data is available to us it will be moved to the data bus and from data bus it will be moved to the register z fine and in the memory write machine cycle we'll now first of all fetch the location of the memory where we have to write okay, fine in the memory read machine cycle we are first getting the address location from where we have to read fine in the memory write machine cycle we are then first of all getting the address where we have to write where we have to read is available on the program counter where we have to write is available in the hl register pair so once the address is fetched the data that is now available on z will be transferred to the data bus and from data bus it will be finally transferred to the memory location so this is mvi m comma data sixth instruction that we have is uh, lxi rp comma d data right what does this d data basically mean basically it will be uh, two bytes of data so load immediately the 
the register pair with uh, the data with the two bytes of data provided with the instruction. So there will be two bytes of data that will be provided in this case and that will be loaded onto the register pair point. So RP will basically be loaded with the data that's immediately available here. So how many bytes of instruction will this be? Opcode fetch, uh, opcode will consume one data and since uh, double data is being provided here, two bytes of data is provided here, so it will be a three byte instruction. Uh, machine cycles, you will be having three machine cycles. What will be the three machine cycles? You have the opcode fetch machine cycle. Fine. You have to read two bytes of data. So a machine cycle can read only one byte of data at a time. So you will be having two machine cycles. Memory read machine cycle and memory read machine cycle. So once this will read one byte of data, second time it will read another byte of data. Because the data bus is only 8 bytes, 8 bit, uh, that means 1 byte, it can only read 1 byte of data at one time. The data bus can be only loaded with 1 byte of data at a particular time. Uh, so T states, we will be having again 10 T states, the upward patch machine cycle will consume 4 T states, the memory read each will consume 3 T states. So total of 10 T states, so an execution of time of 3.24 microseconds. H, uh, you will be having four variations of this. We have studied four different types of register pairs. So accordingly, you will be having LXI, B, D data. B here refers to BC register pair. LXI, D, D data D comma D refers to D register pair LXI H comma D data H refers here to HL register pair and LXI S P D data so SP refers to the stack pointer so you have four different register pairs so that you can basically uh, load using these types of instructions so no flag affected again and then you have the addressing mode as far as the addressing mode go source you have the source is the data that's immediately given so immediate addressing mode and the destination is the register pair it is the register it will the data will go in the registers so it is register address mode fine the register pair in this case does not hold the address of the memory location that is in this case the data will directly go to the register only i and uh, finally j k sorry l you have and the micro RTL of code patch machine cycle same, same no change there then you have one memory read machine cycle uh, so only case here is in the T3 state uh, whatever is on the data bus will go to RP uh, the least significant bit will be loaded first of all program counter will be incremented here program counter will actually be program counter will actually first load onto the address bus fine same and then in the second speed state program counter will be incremented read instruction will be enabled all those things will uh, be same and only thing here is in the t3 state whatever is on the data bus will go not to z down it will go to the register pair say for example it is uh, we have an instruction LXI B comma D B comma uh, 
वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो जीरो फोर फाइन सो बी रेफर्स हेयर टू द रजिस्टर पेयर बी सी सो वॉट हैपन्स इन द फर्स्ट मेमरी रेड मशीन साइकिल जीरो फोर एट द ली सी मेबिट will go to register pair C in the next machine cycle M comma RDMC and <clears throat> uh, again in the T3 state the program in this case also the program counter will load the address bus and the program counter will be incremented and finally in the T3 state whatever is on the address whatever is on the data bus will go to register pair RH fine so that means if we have same instruction now this most thing if you can wait that is 10 will go to B so that that is what will be happening so B C is your register pair B will hold the most significant bit C will hold the least significant bit but this will be the uh, nature of execution the sequence of instruction first memory read machine cycle will actually load the uh, load least significant bit the next memory read machine cycle will load the uh higher signal and the most significant bit fine so this complete micro article will have to actually be we'll have to actually maintain uh maintain proper notes of this and you'll prepare the complete micro article of this and you will be actually showing the micro article of all the instructions once we actually complete this course uh, you will have to do uh, the micro art you have to do the micro, you will have to actually write all the 74 instruction as per this format uh, in a separate notebook as an assignment that will be basically your assignment for the semester uh, <coughs> all the 74 instructions as per the format with complete micro article fine uh, so this is instruction number six instruction number seven in this uh, data transfer group is LDA ADDR. So what does this do? It loads the accumulator. Loads accumulator with contents of the memory location. whose address is provided whose address is provided with the instruction fine so uh, accumulator in this case will be loaded with the contents of the memory location whose address is provided the address will definitely be uh, a 16 bit address fine so that means uh, two bytes of data so total of three byte instruction uh, this will be a three byte instruction lda will consume one byte the address will be uh, say for example lda one zero zero f fine so what this basically does is 100F is basically the address of the memory location. There might be some data there. That data will be 8 bits. That will be loaded onto the accumulator. But the address itself is 16 bits. We have to read 2 bytes of data. And uh, also we have to read the opcode pack. Opcode. So it's a total of 3 bytes of instruction. And how many machine cycles this will be? Mm. You will have four machine cycles you will have the output fetch machine cycle and you will have memory read machine cycle one memory read machine cycle will be basically used to uh, read one byte of address and you will be having memory read machine cycle to read second byte of address 
and then you will be having third memory read machine cycle now once we have the address what are the contents in that address we have to read that also so that will basically consume this will therefore be three memory read machine cycles we have the opcode fetch machine cycle where you will actually be reading this instruction and you will be having three memory read machine cycles uh, one um, memory read machine cycle will read the least significant bit of the address location uh, second memory read machine cycle will read the most significant bit of the memory location and once the complete address is available to us then the third memory read machine cycle will read now the contents of that memory location and therefore this will have 13 t states and the total execution time of uh, 4.16 microseconds 0.324 into 13 it has no variations and an example i have already given to you uh, it will simply you can write lda say for example 2050h uh, J no flag affected K uh, the addressing mode the source addressing mode and the destination addressing mode the source addressing mode is uh, the memory location whose address has been given to you so it is direct addressing mode The address has been directly given to us. Fine, it's not in the register in this case. And the destination is implied. What is the destination? Destination is the accumulator. That's actually implied in the instruction itself. We are not writing separately anywhere uh, accumulator or the register. Fine. AKL, then you have uh, the micro RTL, the opcode patch machine cycle same no change in the opcode fetch machine cycle and you will be having memory read machine cycle one in memory read machine cycle one you will be first of all uh, reading the data uh, reading the address point in the t3 state uh, what will happen is whatever data you have read will be we are first of all reading the address point that will be stored in Z. In second memory read machine cycle, rest T1, T2, in this case will be same. In the T1 state, the program counter will load the address bus. The address slash enable will be triggered. In the T2 state, the program counter will be incremented. Uh, read instruction will be activated. And whatever was on the address bus in the T2 state, that will be move to the data bus in the t3 state first of all uh, the read instruction will be uh, deactivated it will be low to high transition and whatever is now on the data bus will be transferred to z similarly here t1 state program counter will be uh, read and loaded onto the address bus address latch enable will be triggered in t2 state the program counter will be enabled whatever is on the address bus so that will be forwarded to the data bus and in the t3 state whatever is on the data bus now that will be forwarded to w so now w and z these are internal registers with the microprocessor they are only meant for uh, they are meant for actually doing what they are actually meant to hold uh, temporary data while execution of instructions so t1 so this is output patch this is memory read 1 memory read 2 memory read 1 and 2 will be used to read first of all the address location now once we have the address location we have the uh, what we can do in the t3 in the third memory read machine cycle now memory read so s1 will be 0 s0 will be equal to 0 t2 
t1 and what will happen the t1 state now where is the address that is actually already on to the uh, w and z that is the internal registers of the microprocessor so w and z you can write like this uh, w and z the most significant bit will be loaded to the address bus a to a and the least significant bits will be loaded on to ad7 to ad0 we now have the address and we need to load the address now onto the that's basically now stored in w and z onto the address bus and address latch enable will be triggered uh, so once this instruction is completed you can now make read equal to one uh, you can make read equal to zero so that it's activated and the data bus can now be fed with the contents of the memory location whose address is already available on the address bus and in the t3 state read instruction will again be made equal to one it will be a low tie transition this uh, and whatever is on the address uh, on the data bus now that will be loaded onto the accumulator there are three memory read machine cycles for this instruction memory read uh, you have a 16 byte of you have a 16 byte of address that is given to you LDA any instruction you can write 2050 address is 16 bytes so in one memory read machine cycle say for example 50 is being read and this will be transferred to Z Fine. In the next memory read machine cycle 20 will be read and this will be transferred to W. Now W and Z already hold the address location. So once the address location is available to us, now this will be forwarded to the address bus so that whatever is available at this address location. Now say for example at this address location there is a data 32H. Now in the third memory read machine cycle what will happen is 32H will be finally transferred to the accumulator. Fine. Three memory read machine cycles. Read one byte of address. Read second byte of address. And uh, in the third memory read machine cycle now read whatever is at this address and move that to the accumulator. But we are not writing onto a memory, so there is no memory write in this case. A is an internal register of the microprocessor. So these are uh, so far we have done seven. Uh, now eighth instruction S T A address. Fine. Uh, now uh, again saves the contents of accumulator now this is actually as opposed to LDA ADDR this is ADDR in LDA ADDR whatever was on the memory location whose address was given to us was stored in the accumulator now in this case whatever is in the accumulator saves the contents of the accumulator in the memory location whose address is directly given to us fine so in this case m addr will be loaded with whatever is on the accumulator so uh, you again have three bytes of instruction sta will consume one byte reading the off code then you have 16 bytes 16 bit address that's two bytes of data so this means three bytes in total uh, again you have four machine cycles what are the four machine cycles in this case of code fetch machine cycle is one machine cycle then you have the memory read machine cycle then you have the memory read machine cycle and then you have the memory 
right machine cycle point. For example, we are having STA 20F0. So whatever is in this, whatever is in the accumulator, that's actually written onto the memory location. So a code fetch will consume one machine cycle. Uh, then reading the address. So you are reading the address first of all. Read this address. Store that in Z. Then read this address. Store that in W. And now WZ, we are already having the location of the memory. Now what in the third, in the last machine cycle, whatever is on the accumulator, now you transfer that to that whatever uh, address location W and Z basically are holding. So we are now writing in this case onto the memory. The fourth machine cycle in this case will not be memory read, it will be memory write because we are writing from accumulator onto that memory. So you still have T 13 T states and an execution time of 4.16 microseconds. Uh, there will be no variations again and we have already the examples of this i no flag affected i and j you already know now then you have uh, k that is the addressing mode of the source and the destination what is the source addressing mode in this case uh, Source is basically the accumulator that the uh, instruction itself is implying, right? So it is implied, and the destination is the address that is given to us, so it is direct address. And then you have the uh, micro RTL output fetch machine cycle, first of all, same memory read machine cycle, uh, like in case of LDA, same. Uh, in this case, we'll be loading, first of all, Z. Then you have memory read machine cycle again. We will be loading now W. And finally the memory write machine cycle. In this case, in the memory write machine cycle, uh, similar to what we had earlier, first of all, A15 to A8 will be loaded with uh, WZH and A87 to AD0 will be loaded with WZL. Write will be enabled. Now only in this case, in the T2 state, where do we need to get the data from to the data bus from the accumulator a will basically be written on to the data bus and finally in the t3 state whatever is on the data bus will be transferred to the address bus fine so we'll again complete this of the micro rtl of this instruction uh, Instruction number nine L H L D A D D R. What does this do? This loads the register L, loads register loads register L with contents of uh, memory location whose address is given directly with the instruction with this uh, what this instruction does get it cleared fine loads the register L 
So you have been given an address. There is some data on that address. Load the load that dot data onto the register L and load register H with contents of next memory location. So what this basically does is this address is being given to you ADDR so whatever is on this uh, whatever are the contents of this address move that to L and whatever are the contents of the next address location ADDR plus 1 move that to H point so this uh, second one this is basically implied in this case this address has not been given to us but this instruction automatically uh, does this so it's it remains a three byte instruction because you are only uh, reading one of code and one and one byte so that 16 bits of address or two bytes of address so it is a three byte instruction still Now in this case, what will be the number of machine cycles? There will be five machine cycles. And what will those five machine cycles be? Opcode fetch machine cycle. We have memory read machine cycle. We have memory read. Uh, machine cycle. We have memory read machine cycle. We have memory read machine cycle. So what these five machine cycles are? Opcode fetch machine cycle. We will record the opcode. That's as usual. Memory read machine cycle. First of all, you have to read the address. So if for example, you have been given LHLD three zero nine zero H. Fine. So one memory, uh, so one machine cycle is read this opcode. The second memory, that's the first memory read machine cycle now, read this. And the next memory read machine cycle, read this. So once you have read this, uh, what you can do is, uh, so once you have the address, now you need to read them contents of this address location so that will be done in the memory read that will be done in the third memory read machine cycle and what is the fourth memory read machine cycle now sequentially what in this memory read machine cycle we'll be doing is in the first memory read machine cycle uh, this data will be read and stored in Z. right so that is one memory read machine cycle the second memory read machine cycle this data will be read and stored in W. Fine. In the third memory read machine cycle, now whatever is in WZ, that will be read. Uh, that will be read, loaded onto the address bar, and finally moved to the register L. Fine. So this will be third memory read machine cycle. And also in this memory read machine cycle, what we'll be doing is we'll be also incrementing WZ by 1. WZ will be incremented by 1. So that will take place sequentially in this memory read machine cycle. So it already holds now the location of the next memory read machine cycle. In the fourth memory read machine cycle, now whatever is in the new WZ, that will be read and that will be transferred to register H. Fine. So these are your four memory read machine cycles. We have the opcode fetch machine cycle and one memory read machine cycle read one byte of address. In the next memory read machine cycle read second byte of address. In the third memory read machine cycle now whatever it says add that address move that to L. Also increment WZ by one so that it already points to 3091. Fine. 
So this instruction, what it does is, whatever is on three zero nine zero, whatever is the contents of this three zero nine zero, move that to L, and whatever is then the contents of three zero nine one, move that to H. So in third memory redemption cycle, you load that to H L, and in the fourth, move that to H. Once you read basically that memory, then load that to H. So we have five machine cycles. And therefore, how many T states? We have uh, four T states of this: three, 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 three. So that means a total of sixteen T states. Sixteen T states means sixteen uh, into three point two four point three two four. We have five point one two microseconds. Mm, there is no variation of this. Example is <clears throat> LHLD two zero one zero fine and J no flag affected K what will be the source and destination. What is the source? The source is the memory location whose address has been given to us directly. So it is direct addressing mode. And what is the destination? It is HL register pair, H and L. These are internal registers that actually is meant within the instruction itself. So it's implied addressing mode. Then you have the micro RTL, write the opcode fetch machine cycle first of all. Name. Then you have memory read machine cycle one. Fine. So T one, T two, and T three. Uh, so you have to increment the program counter. You have to load that address bus. In this case, uh, address bus will be loaded. Let me complete this one for you. The address bus will be completed. Will be loaded with whatever is on the program counter. Eight, seven, eight, not, and the address latch enable will be triggered. In the next machine cycle, the program counter will be incremented. Uh, the read instruction will be. Activated and whatever is on this address bus that needs to be transferred to the data bus. So, this what is that the address bus right now is the location of the address. So, read will be disabled, low by transition. So, address bus, so whatever is on the data bus will be loaded onto. Register Z. Right. So this basically is the address of some location. Here you have I/O by M by S one S not. Second memory read machine cycle. This will be same, except for in this case AD seven to AD not will be loaded onto W. So here we have read. Uh, here we have read one byte of the address that's directly given. Here we have read the second byte of the address that has been directly given to us. We have the two memory read machine cycles and done. In the third memory read machine cycle, T1, T2, T3. Now you do not need the program counter anymore. So A15 to A8. Where is the address? Now address is in W and Z. So A15 to A8 will be loaded with WZH AD7. So address bus will now be carrying the address that is available in the WZ register pair. Fine. And address latch enable will be triggered. So we now have the address location. 
once we have the also what I said to you WZ in this case will be incremented by 1 so that it already points to the next memory location read instruction will be enabled and whatever is on the address bus that will be its contents of that location will be transferred to the data bus read instruction will be disabled low to high transition this is one here and where do we need to now put this data we need to put this data in register L why so fourth memory read machine cycle T1 will be same no change T2 we do not need to increment now the WZ register pair so it will be directly read equal to 0 and whatever is 87 to 80 whatever is in that, that address bus location that will be moved to the data bus in T3 state RD will be again disabled low to high transition now where do we need to move this data we need to move this data to register H So this instruction has four memory read machine cycles two memory read machine cycles will be used to read the 16-bit address the third memory read machine cycle now be used to read the contents of that address that content of address will be placed in register L simultaneously will also be incrementing this address by one so that it already points to the next memory location that the contents of the now the next memory location will be now read in the fourth memory read machine cycle and that content will be uh, placed in register H so these are so far nine instructions fine uh, Tenth instruction is SHLD address. So it is actually opposite of I'll simply write its definition what it does load memory whose address is given directly whose address is given directly with contents of L and load next sequential next memory location with contents of H fine so we have been given the address right now and the contents of L will be transferred to that address location and the contents of H will be transferred to sequence next memory location so it's a, a 3 byte instruction 3 byte the rest will be same we have 5 machine cycles now what will be the 5 machine cycles as opposed to the previous instruction we have of course fetch machine cycle we have one memory read machine cycle to read say for example we have shld a0 f5 f0 fine this is your memory location address shld will be read in the opcode patch machine cycle we read this data and transfer it to z read this data and transfer it to w so these will be your two memory read uh, machine cycles how we have done the memory write machine cycles in this case 
you have one memory write and you have second memory write so once you have the contents of this data so in this memory write machine cycle whatever is on l will be transferred to wz and whatever is on h will be transferred to wz plus one fine so this means whatever is on h will be transferred to wz plus one so accordingly here we have uh, we can decide the number of these states, the number of the execution time. The there will be no variations, uh, no flag will be affected. What will be the addressing mode? Okay, the addressing modes, source and destination. In this case, the source is H and L, so it's implied. And the destination is the memory location whose address is directly given, so it is direct addressing mode. So finally, you'll be having uh, the output patch machine cycle. You'll be have the memory read, the memory read. Fine. It will be same as the previous case. Uh, now, then you'll be having the memory write. The next two memory locations again will be incrementing first wz by one in this case uh, so now in this case l will be loaded onto the memory rather than memory being loaded onto l so that's all for this session uh, we have done so far 10 instructions we have still uh, five more instructions of the data transfer group that we need to study Complete the micro RTL of all the instructions and uh, maintain a proper uh, record of these instructions.